Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing another movie review. This movie is a horror film from the USA, English language, released in the year 2016, directed by Ariel Schulman and Henry Joost, and this film is called Viral. So Viral is about two sisters and a father. They have moved to a new town. The mother is still coming, and so in the meantime they're going to unpack and try to become acclimatised to their new surroundings. So they go to school, these sisters, and one of the sisters gets a liking for this boy who also lives across the road from her. So she wants to get his attention, but all this is going to be put on hold when there is word of a viral outbreak. Now the outbreak has hasn't, uh, is, is not bad at the moment, but it's enough to make the father go out to actually try and pick the, the mother up from the airport. So he tells the, the sisters just to stay inside, don't panic, everything's going to be okay. But then the sisters receive a phone call from the father saying that he can't get back into the town because it's been quarantined. That the situation has escalated to the point of pandemonium, and now the government are trying to contain this virus. So no one's allowed to come in and no one's allowed to leave. So the sisters are left to fend for themselves as the situation spirals out of control, and whether or not they can outlast this onslaught is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Viral. Coming into this film, I did have expectations. that Ariel Schulman and Henry Joost are very good directors. They showcased that in their very good documentary, Catfish, where it was very creepy, but at the same time very enjoyable, and it actually made you think about how we are on social media. And so these movie, these movie makers actually give you something a little bit more than you bargained for. Now, I haven't actually seen their latest film, Nerve, but I've been told that's very creative as well, so I really want to see that movie. But Ariel Schulman and Henry Joost are very intriguing filmmakers, and are filmmakers that I thought are very good in what they do. So coming into Viral, I thought to myself, this is just going to be another outbreak film, but I thought, no, no, these directors are good enough to actually give me something a little bit more. And unfortunately, at the end of the film, the reason why I didn't like it as much as I did is because I didn't get what I wanted from these directors. If this was a director who was unheard of, I actually would have liked the film a little bit more, but at the end of the experience, I thought to myself, is that it? I really wanted all these uh, a lot more than actually what I got. So unfortunately, that was the biggest problem, but I will say there are positives. I think that Ariel Schulman and Henry Juice do a great job at creating a mood. I thought whether or not it's from the camera angles or the very subtle soundtrack, I thought it contributes something that's very tense. And the level of expectation is there. The level of anticipation that something really bad is going to happen is forever present. So when the, the movie is slow build up, you feel as though it's building up to something climatic and that something really bad is going to escalate. And so the tension is always there, whether it's just the build up as far as the characters are concerned. I always felt that something really nasty was around the corner. So they do a really good job at absorbing you through the atmospheric quality that the movie has. I thought that the characters were very good in that I didn't really hate them. I thought for the majority of the film, they actually stayed clear of stereotypical behaviour as far as teenagers are concerned. I never really wanted to see them die. Yes, they do some things that are very teenage -y, but I could expect that coming from you know people of their age. But it's also a movie about trying to cope with things that are out of your control and trying to grow up very quickly. And so these teenagers don't get the opportunity to do what normal teenagers do is because they're faced with this terrible... Uh, you know, this terrible illness that has actually besieged the town. And this is not a, a, you know, it's not so far of a stretch of the imagination that this could happen in real life. So it does give you that eeriness that maybe this is something we're going to face in the future and what will we do in this similar circumstance. So I really like that and I thought to myself, all right, I can really capture myself in these characters and what would I do in this certain situation? But there is a situation in the film that really does turn the film around completely in that they put themselves in turmoil and you feel, all right, that is such a ridiculous decision and the only reason they would do that is for the progression of the movie. And that I felt that was very lazy. It's because you're putting them in turmoil for the sake of actually making it feel as though this is a horror film. Whereas if they actually took a different approach, a more realistic approach, I could connect to the overall situation a lot more. So when you've got this ridiculous decision, this is where it really disconnects itself from, from reality. In that, I, all right, this is a move that I really wanted to connect to. And I really wanted to say to myself, what would I do if this happened to me? But when this really silly decision has been made, this is where the tone of the film film doesn't work, in that if you can disconnect yourself from the actual film, you want a fun movie, you want a gore fest, you want something that is just ridiculous, but because that ridiculous level never comes to it, it's taking itself a little bit too seriously for its own good, and because I've disconnected myself from the characters, I couldn't really get the emotional punch that the movie wants, so it does become a very flat and empty experience, and it's an experience that, as I said, I was expecting so much more coming from these directors, and so because the, the tone is very different in... Uh, 
after they've made this stupid decision, I just, I felt to myself, all right, you put yourself in harm's way. I don't really care how this is going to unfold. And unfortunately, because I've seen this all before, I know exactly how it's going to unfold. And so you've got all of these moments that could have been typical Ariel Shulman on Henry Juice, but they never take those moments. And so I felt, all right, this is a movie that does promise a lot more than you actually get. And coming from directors like this, I thought it was extremely lazy. It was very generic. There's a lot of exposition in the film that's explaining kind of what's going on and how it's affecting the rest of the world, where I thought it would have been a lot better if you were as oblivious to the situation as these townspeople were. In reality, you don't, you're not going to know exactly what's going on. And so when the movie dictates to you what is going on and holding your hand and giving you some insight into the magnitude of this problem, I thought it does eliminate a lot of that suspense. And as I said, coming from these directors, this is the biggest problem. That these directors are capable of so much more than they produce in viral. If this is a movie done by a new filmmaker that I'd never heard of, I would have liked it a lot more. But because the expectation levels were there, and I felt to myself there were many opportunities to take those expectations to actually make a film worth watching I come away from it bitterly disappointed and so the ending is a cop out I, I knew exactly how it was going to finish and as I said because it's so generic you know how it's going to unfold you know who's going to survive and who isn't and therefore it just becomes a film that uh, I couldn't help but feel bitter disappointment with so if uh, unfortunately for this movie there are movies out there that have told the same story but unfortunately told it a lot better and so if you're expecting something that is going to be uh, you know, typical of these directors, then unfortunately this is a movie that is going to disappoint you as well. So I was very disappointed, and as a result of that, I'm only going to give uh, Viral two stars. Alright guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies, and I'll see you later.